Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. Let's continue as the Jewish Kazarians in our attempt to um, restore Judaism. I think. No, I think to seek revenge against the rest of the world for persecuting us for so long. How's Germany doing? Germany. Oh, you're doing not so well. Maybe I should subjugate Germany next. <laughs> Historical vengeance. Isn't it fun? But no, right now we're kind of in a war against Novgorod to take one of their small counties. Um, and another interesting that happened, interesting thing that happened last episode was that my son Buga is now in love with my daughter. Yes. They are not even Zoroastrian. What happened was Yeldem decided to elope with a um, with a mercenary leader who just happened to be my son. Seriously, game. I guess they don't have a check when they do that event thing where your daughter elopes with a mercenary leader. I guess they don't have a check to see if the two people are related, which is interesting. But you know, whatever. It's, it's fine. I don't judge. I played as the uh, Zoroastrians, and I kind of relished in that stuff. But now, uh, you know, whatever. It's all good. We'll see you down. That's right. Yeah, I don't expect this war to last very long. Because we're just gonna rock them. Fantastic. Siege more. Very cool. Should we go to Krakow? I think we should, actually. Oh, we have a lot of troops with us right now. Siege it all down, please. Nope, just siege it down. It's all good. Fantastic. I have a new son, who is not a genius. It's a shame. And we... Okay, for a second I thought I lose, like, lost like 50% of my troops there, but no. We're just moving to a different county. Alright, I got it. Oh, right, because we're not tribal either. We're losing, la um... We're getting a lot of attrition penalties in tribal lands. And Akabesh just won't die. He's like a s almost 60-year-old mercenary leader. He's got syphilis and various health problems and he's a drunkard. Yet he will not die and he'll most likely be my, um... He's the heir right now, so he'll most likely take over as the Kagan once... Once Uros dies. I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen with the um, rest of my the vassals. Like, what if they decide that they don't want to be part of my realm anymore, right? After I die? They're just going to bugger off and gain independence? I don't know. I hope not. That would suck. That would suck badly. Uh, yep. Yeah. 100%. There we go. Fantastic. Let's just siege that down anyways. Just to kind of get that extra... Ah, oh, that wasn't worth it. Never mind. And let's go back to Kiev. And we have clans wanting more lands. Yeah, it was this one, right? Yeah. Let's pillage it. Anything else that we can pillage? Take no... Hmm, which land should I give away now? I would give this one away, but we still have holdings there that need to be pillaged, so... Can we just pillage, please? And I know, Akabesh, you were kind of concerned that um, I might be getting all soft as a uh, feudal leader. But I'm, I'm getting my practice in. I'm playing... Um, as other realms in uh, on my spare time, just kind of like keep my skills sharp and all that stuff. Let's give perm away. There's probably a lot of people there with like curly hair and stuff, but you know. Ah, ah, ah! Dad joke. I'm not a dad. I don't think I have any children. So okay, he's not. He's Jewish right now, so that's good. He's no longer. Christian. 
Uh, perm, where is... There we go. Don't do perm. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. We also took over this guy's lands, which is fantastic. We have another truce with him. And... Oh, shit. We have a truce for what the hell? For, like, eight years? Good gravy. It's a super long time. Shit. What if we kill you? Can we kill you? We can. That means that it would pass down to your son. Yes. You know what? That might actually be a good thing, considering that this truce is only with him. And not... Ah. But not, um... Okay. What am I doing? And not his... Dynasty, I think? So let's try it. Let's execute him. <laughs> so now he's my vassal. Isn't he? Yeah, he's my vassal. He's a powerful vassal. Oh, he's not... It's not a red fist because he... Can't, because he's too young. So it's gonna be a maybe, which means I should probably move my troops down here. Just in case. And I should actually do that with the other guys that, uh... Wait. That's it then, right? This, I think those... Yeah, that's the only, um... Non-nomadic vassal that I have. Okay. Akabesh is... Boozing and whoring. Invasion. Mm. So these guys, I think they're involved in other wars by themselves. Which is why they're not willing to sign in on this thing. But an invasion. Oof. Now, I'm kind of concerned that the other Sunni lords might join in on the fight. Which isn't ideal. They don't have a ton of troops in comparison to me. But it's enough for me to um, kind of be concerned. Masana has the flu. Too bad. But he's been cured. Or treated, rather. Not cured. Akabesh is boozing and whoring. As expected. He's got lover's pox. Ooh, he's got herpes! Dude! Thank goodness. Holy crap. I was worried that you guys would stay Catholic. But no. They have uh, adopted Judaism. Good. So, we don't need to kick your sorry ass anymore, which is fantastic. Which clan doesn't like me amazingly? Who is not my biggest fan? These guys, they're... They like me, but not as much as they could, really. So then, let's go back to researching cultural tech in Kiev. And let us improve our... Should we get better sheep? Hey, maybe. Or should we improve our yam? Let's get something that might... Uh, I guess sheep? Although, I don't know how much it's gonna help in terms of... um. Yeah, let's just get cattle and uh, oxen wagon. Because I don't know how much I'm actually gonna get in terms of nomad tax. I know I get a decent amount to be able to offset expenses that I have during excuse me, during non-war times oh, I guess Armenia is no longer part of this guys do things, I guess I don't, I don't know if I said that correctly, I didn't I didn't say that correctly at all in fact, I can subordinate Derbent and since they're Tengri there's not a lot of like uh, Tengri people around, in fact I would hazard saying that there's almost no one that are Tengri anymore. Which means... Let's actually um, subordinate Turbent first, before we head down to uh, Kiev and all that. So let's do that. Let's subordinate you guys. Fantastic. Let's call in our vassals. You guys can move in over down there. And once you're past Semender, I'll move the other guys down there because I don't want to, um, incur attrition penalties. Seinhild of 
Guiche? The wife of King Nikolaus of Bavaria has been spending a few days in Kiev. No, we want to be able to um, do nasty things to Bavaria, so no non-aggression pack, please. Thank you. They're going to be out of surrender very soon, so fantastic. Cool beans. You need a childhood education. Um, you know what? Let's actually make you... Let's give you humility? Maybe make you a diplomatic character? I don't know. Could be interesting. Akabesh the Fat is also a lunatic. I think it runs in the family. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Pillaging, fantastic. And your shit is now mine. Can we? We cannot, because we probably have a truce with them. Yep. Mysterious truces. Fantastic. Cool. And he's pissy. For many different reasons, I'm sure. Akabesh has turned into a very experienced mercenary commander. I don't know what that means. Doesn't seem to have really changed anything. Lands want more lands. What the hell? What's happening? Oh, if we siege some more, we probably pillage some stuff down to find paper. Paper? Did I say paper? I meant powder. Clearly, I don't know the difference between paper and powder. Which is not surprising. Is there any land here that is... Okay, good. That one. But we need to give away two. Um, let's give it to... These guys. The least populous. We can have... Dashos... I'll never know how to pronounce that one. And let's give away Kanjikala as well. Who wants Kanjikala? You, my friend, can have Konjikala. There you go. Simonids. Hey. And I have to remember that I can actually loot and pillage, even, I mean, raid, even when I'm not, um, currently in a war, or even when I don't have holdings to siege down and all, all that shit. What the hell? Why do I have you in my thing? So I'm hoping that maybe you'll um, start up a war against me, because or you'll rebel against me. That'll give me just cause to imprison you and all that shit, and then we'll, you know, have a fun go at all this stuff. Let's seek treatment for my gout. Let's, with, as long as you know what you're doing. And we have the. Toad um, treatment again. It just cuts up a bunch of toads and puts them on my chest and all that shit. Take the duchy. Oh, you actually gave it up. Interesting. Well then, if that's the case, then I can just ask you for. Okay, no, you can't. You're not gonna accept it. You're a pissy little bitch. I get it. And after this war, I think I might actually increase my. Um, Horde size. Akabesh has gone into hiding. Fantastic. And we're getting those notifications because I have Akabesh set as a special interest. Which, on pawn reflection, might be getting a little annoying, but that's fine. Whatever. It's all good. Move over to Urgench. reason I'm not sieging down Kiva is because it's got a lot more uh, garrison than um, the other ones. Okay, I don't know what's what you're doing, but if you want to do what you do, do what you do. Honey boo boo, do what you do. Siege all that down, fantastic. Doing a good job, buddy. Move over to Dashohuz. And we're stressed now, great. So, along with the gout and being stressed, I think I'm probably not going to survive for much longer. I say that, but I have pretty much like weathered everything. And I... Oh wait, Akabesh. 
lost Stumble. It is said that his time as a mercenary leader has changed the outlook of your half-brother Akabesh. He no longer shows the same humble spirit as before. That's a shame. More sieging, please. Okay. Isn't it time you gave up by now? Like, seriously. Okay, good. Yeah. That's what I thought. And we're gonna revoke your shit. And we can't because you apparently have a truce with me now. So we're gonna execute you. Oof. How did he die? Death by a boar. Interesting. And now we're gonna revoke your shit, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry dude. This isn't working out for you, is it? Let's go with Dehu stand this time. Yep. That's what I thought. Makara next. Yep. And now... Kiva. Nice. You are just completely landless now. Just the way I like it. Can we revoke your shit? Not just yet. I think we still have a... Truce with you. Revoke all this stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. Revoke your stuff too. That mosque is mine. That city is mine. Your... Whoa, wait, what? What the shit? Oh, Grant. I was like, what the hell is happening? Why can I grant him stuff? That's weird. No, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what I was doing there. I hope I didn't make a mistake. And just randomly grant people some shit. That would suck. Uh, take that shit from you. Fantastic. So let's uh, let's wait until all these they respond to all our revocation. They've all gotten the letters. I say letters, but I don't think there's anything written on it. I think it's just pictures because I don't know if my character can actually read or write. He might be illiterate. I'm just guessing, based on the fact that he is a horse lord. So he might be illiterate, which means maybe just drew him like some kind of, I don't know, drawing with, that somehow denotes revocation through pictures. It could be like maybe a picture of me standing on his land and his dead body? I don't know. I don't know how it would work, but suffice it to say, we somehow sent a letter telling them that their shit is being looted or revoked. Fantastic. I'm so glad this exists. Fantastic. Great. So everything is starting to get pillaged now. Which is just super. Let's go back to Kiev? No, let's not go back to Kiev. Because Kiev doesn't have very good supplies. Let's instead go to... Because what do we want to do next? I think next we want to maybe look at um, taking over the Safarids and whatnot, but I guess we'll see soon enough. Fantastic. In the meantime, let's expand our horde. Get more. So, okay, so heavy vanguard and horse archers. Let's just alternate between these two. I don't know if this is actually a good uh, ratio or not, but I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure there's someone out there who knows. Who's just like ripping his hair out, or her hair out. Wondering what the hell is this guy doing? He's just wasting all of his money on this retinue that is just going to be terrible. Okay, that's going to be like, oh my god, 11,000. I might have overspent. But that's okay. Because we're still pillaging. And we can... We can imprison him. Don't necessarily. Okay, you know what? You don't. You don't want to. So I can actually imprison him, and then once he rebels, I can revoke all his shit and take his crap. He doesn't have a lot of P. 
people, though. Which is fine, I guess. Akabesh, can you come back? Thank you, Akabesh. Holy crap. Dude. You're back from your journey, and you're going to die now. I'm sorry. I mean... You're great and all. But... We kind of can't have you taking over on all that shit. We need my son to take over. So, nothing personal, but it's definitely personal. Stop it, dude. Just stop plotting. Booga, if you could get your mercenary traditions and all that stuff, that would be fantastic. I'd really appreciate that. My son has pneumonia, and he's probably going to die. And Booga has become diligent. Fantastic. Good job, Booga. Booga, Booga, Booga. We have a Sunni uprising. Fantastic. Uh, Vassals? Do you guys mind taking this? Yeah, I, I, I'm too lazy to actually move my troops around, so if you could take care of this, I'd be really grateful. And by that, I mean nothing will change. Like, seriously, it'll be the exact same. And great, I'm now possessed. I'm speaking in tongues, screaming obscenities at random times, most often when the rabbi preaches, and I'm sometimes lying on the ground, writhing in apparent pain. I seldom remember these things, and people believe me to be possessed. Probably because I am. I'm a one-eyed, one-legged, stressed lunatic, who's possessed and has gout. An amazing combination of traits, and my plot has been revealed by someone who just couldn't keep their mouth shut. So now Akabesh just hates me. He's like, this guy's trying to kill me. It's my own brother, and he's my rival. I just hate him so much. Okay, why, why is my thing down at 39% or something? Was it? I don't know what's happening. Can we please get Akabesh killed? Akabesh, dude. And that's it. I died. I died from complications of gout. So now I am Akabesh. Fantastic. Um, Did we lose any... vassals? I don't think we did. Oh, we may have. Did we? Or did we not? I can't tell. I'm just, I'm missing a steward and a court rabbi for why? For why? Are you actually good at anything else? You're, no. 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 Can I make you my advisor then? No. No. Can't. Um. Can I make you my hmm? Not my steward, my court rabbi, because I don't think rabbi is quite as important of a um, position as anything else. He, because I want this guy to actually be my chancellor, right? So then I'll get him to change council position with my actual chancellor which means he's now my advisor it's a decent martial character but not nearly as good as my actual martial character or my actual martial is there anyone else who is no okay good that means i can actually get this guy as my steward fantastic get you to oversee construction and you can research cultural technology and maybe get killed in the process Possibly? I'd be really grateful. Thankfully, my clan still really like me, which is really cool. And I think that's probably why they didn't um, gain independence during the uh, succession. But now, 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 we have an opportunity to subjugate the Safarids. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? We have a Sunni uprising. Oh, that's been crushed. 
Right, and so we will execute you for funsies. You have to pick a character focus. Now, I'm actually not going to get married because I don't want to have to... Um, I don't want to... What's the word I'm looking for? What am I trying to say, what am I trying to say here? Oh, because I want my uh, nephew... Bagur, or whatever his name is, Baghad? I don't know. Whatever his name is, I want him to be the uh, next Kagan, so we'll just have to leave it as is. Am I making sense here? I don't think I am. I think I'm just kind of fumbling over my words. That's okay, right? Give away some minor titles. Mm, my friend, you can be my commander. No nepotism there whatsoever. No, it's all good. Yagbu, no. Do we want our gay nephew to be Yagbu? Not necessary. I don't know if... It is, I don't think he needs prestige. Yeah, that was actually a pretty smooth succession, which is... Awesome. He's down to 18,000. I have 27,000 by myself. Guys? Is this- is this gonna happen? Is this happening? He has a potential of how much? He can get 26,000. He currently has 18,000. But their lands are... Let's wait until at least the slow fever goes away before we decide to do anything with the Byzantines. But... We- it can actually happen. Because we are such an amazing martial character. I don't know what it actually does for um, nomads. What does it actually do? I don't know. We had a wife at one point who I think she she's the one that gave us syphilis. That bitch. How dare she? So now we got a choice to make. Do we go after the Safarids with their twelve thousand? Do we subjugate them, or? Do we go after the Byzantines? Because we currently have a lot of troops. And I'm still gaining a positive um, amount of uh, money, which is quite miraculous. And we... Oh, we just got bloodletted for, um, for our syphilis. And herpes. Okay. Hmm. Let's actually look into increasing some tolerance, and I'd like to, um, possibly get the status of women kind of going up. Just for shits and giggles, but, okay, so everyone's going to be an opponent to that. Alright, cool. So no one wants women in power. Guys, that's incredibly sexist. It's a year, it's the ninth century. Can we please progress as humans? So, yeah, I'm not actually sure if we should go with the Byzantines or the Safarids. I might do some pondering in between episodes. And I don't know if I'll have enough time in between now and the next episode to really um, get anyone's opinions. So I'll do some thinking, um, and if I don't actually go the way that you guys want me to, I do apologize because I have to... It's because I do, um... I record in batches due to my time constraints, and I think I've mentioned that before. So I can't really, you know, always wait to hear everyone's opinions before I record the next episode. Which is a shame. But it doesn't mean that I'm uh, ignoring your opinions. It just means that, you know, I'm kind of playing by my time constraints. But yeah, let's uh, let's let time pass by a little bit and shit. Let's actually not neglect our um, trade posts here. Can we upgrade them in any way whatsoever? I don't think that we can. No. What's our trade post limit right now? How do I find that out? Can I find that out? I don't think that I can. I'm just gonna have to look at my... Okay, so we have 
three out of three. All right, cool. It's fine. Let's set our crown focus. Can we set our crown focus? Uh. What? I can, can't I? Why can't I make key of my crown focus? What's happening? Oh, what's happening? Eh. I don't think we need to, yeah, ransom anyone. But yeah, we're gaining money, but right now... We've almost pillaged everything down, I think, to their... That last little bit. Safford's... Or the Byzantines. They're quickly regaining their forces, though. And that's something that I need to watch out for. Now... If I do go with the Byzantines, we're going to have to... It's going to be a giant mess. It's going to be like when we took over Bulgaria. I don't know if you guys remember. But when we took over Bulgaria and uh, Hungary and whatnot, it was a giant mess because we had so many different uh, vassals. And they were all just really pissy and etc, etc. Oh, what happened? Wait, didn't we subordinate these guys? I guess these guys didn't stay with us because they didn't like us or something. I don't know. So we could subordinate them back. But we also want this slow fever to go away. Because I don't want to get a disease while I'm uh, while I'm here. We lost our spy master, which is unfortunate. Anyone here who would be a good spy master? Let's look at um, our advisors, maybe. No, you suck. You both suck, so you're probably going to get captured pretty much at the border. In fact, you're not even going to make it into Constantinople. You're just going to be like... In fact, you're probably going to get caught as you're leaving our lands, most likely. Because of how incompetent you guys are as spy masters. But yeah, I have a huge force here. Holy shit. So just my troops alone would actually be able to um, fight the Byzantines. Oh shit, they are recovering very quickly. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing we didn't choose to go with the... Well... I'm not saying that I've already made my decision here, but... Maybe actually Safarage would be a better idea currently. Yeah, I think they might be a better idea. So let's start making our way down... To there. And get a little bit of distance... Okay, I guess that decision was made for us. So unfortunately, we missed the chance to subordinate or subjugate, which is fine. But we are now Kagan Buga, as we had always planned to be. Um, and my dead uncle is pondering uh, what to what to focus on in the afterlife. So let's make him a cavalry leader. And yeah, there we go. In the afterlife, he has managed to become a cavalry leader. Fantastic. So I guess now would be a good time as any to um, leave it off here and come back again in the next episode. So, <laughs> it's really unfortunate. <laughs> Quite sad. But yeah, we'll leave it off here and come back again in the next episode. So, wait, did we lose anyone? No, we didn't. Thank goodness. Yeah, we'll leave it off here. So, thank you very much for watching and have a good breakfast!